Hi, I'm Girlie, and this is why I love Princess Mononoke, the Studio Ghibli film. Princess Mononoke is um, one of the Studio Ghibli films that was made in 97, and it's basically a story of the uh, gods of the forest and the people of Iron Town who destroy the forest so that they can make iron and make a living. Um, it's set in a period in Japan, sort of medieval Japan. It's basically like a sort of fantasy but also reality story. Um, the loose plot is that um, there is a, a young warrior from a village and he kills a forest demon who's been corrupted by the iron that the humans have made because it's become lodged in its body. Um, and he's cursed by this demon and the wise woman of the village tells him that he has to go to the, the village where uh, God, well the demon which was previously a god called Nago came from. So he travels to the west with this curse that's going to eventually kill him if he can't find a cure and realises that there's this massive power struggle between um, the creatures of the forest and the gods of the forest who are meant to protect um, the forest and then the humans who want to destroy it and cut it down and use it for their own ideas. And then he meets this woman called Princess Mononoke who was adopted by the wolves and it's her quest to, to destroy the humans. The reason why I love the film so much is because it's not just a black and white good versus evil, it, both sides, you sort of understand both sides of the story. The humans aren't rich fat cats destroying the forest for no reason, they're just people, poor people trying to survive um, and they need the forest as much as the animals do and this young warrior um, sort of comes in and brings peace by looking at both sides. So Princess Mononoke hates the humans and the humans hate her but actually they all want the same thing which is for the forest to be healthy and well so that they can all use it and what eventually ends up happening is that um, Lady Iboshi who runs the village decapitates the, the forest god, the deer god so that she can have protection from the Emperor of Japan and she can use the forest and all of the creatures can disappear but what ends up happening is that that one selfish act ends up destroying the whole forest for everyone which means that everyone loses out um, and in the end they all return the head to the god and the forest comes back and they agree to live in harmony and I think the reason why I love it so much and the reason why I love the character of Princess Mononoke to the point where I got a tattoo of her on my arm <laughs> is that it's kind of a story that is accessible to anyone like it, it's so beautifully um, drawn and made that a, ch a child can watch it and love it but also as an adult you can watch it and understand the sort of moral political messages in it as well. It's a story of uh, you know nature and humans living in peace and it's even more, it's not really, it is environmental, but it's more about anti-conflict and about how we all actually want the same thing and we all want to prosper and we can do that together. And it's funny, like the reason I got the tattoo here, it was kind of a mistake, but it ended up being, like, when I hold my mic up when I'm singing, it's like she's like watching out at everyone and it's kind of like this moment in the film She's wearing a mask and she's about to attack the village and she's about to meet the, the warrior who's going to tell her that it, it's not going to help to just kill each other. You, know, you have to work together. And I kind of like it because she's so strong and powerful and determined, but she's also stubborn. And that's kind of, sometimes I feel like that reflects my personality a bit. Like she's, she's got good intentions, but you know, she makes mistakes as well. And I think that's like a message that can be taken from the whole film. Also the fact that she's a strong female character and the woman who runs the village is also strong and it's just a very interesting film in how the way that they take like certain roles and reverse them so in the village all the people that work in the iron factory are, are women and the people who work at home and do the washing and raise the children are the men and it's not a big political point it's just how it is and I think it's a testament to the makers of the film that they didn't make it to be a political film. They just made a beautiful film that you can watch and kind of understand there are messages in there. And it was so ahead of its time. It was made, you know, 20 years ago and it's still so relevant today. So that's why I love Princess Mononoke. Okay.